Good evening, everyone, and Happy New Year. This is Jonathan again here at the National Weather Service in Norman, Oklahoma. This will be another winter weather briefing regarding our winter weather chances starting late tonight and continuing on through Saturday. Let's go ahead and jump right in here and talk about tonight into Thursday. Basically, for those of you out tonight for New Year's, not much to worry about, just really cold out there, so I hope you're all bundling up. Later on tonight, approximately between about 9 p.m. and midnight, we should start to see some really light freezing rain, likely freezing drizzle, and some sleet start to make its way into far western north Texas. And then that same light freezing drizzle, freezing rain, sleet activity will continue on between midnight, midnight and 6 a.m., moving off to the north, northeast. And then between 6 a.m. and noon tomorrow, much of the activity will finally spread across much of the area. I wouldn't be surprised there's some flurries out and around. Uh, freezing drizzle, freezing rain, really kind of light precipitation. Could be some heavier bands of sleet and freezing rain, uh, kind of like what a lot of people across far southwestern Oklahoma and western North Texas saw last night, and even up into the south part of the Oklahoma City metro uh, overnight last night. So, okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at some accumulations. Like I said, it's a pretty light precipitation is what we're expecting. Maybe some light accumulations of sleet possible from central back into far southwestern Oklahoma, and then maybe an, up to an eighth of an inch of ice and maybe a half inch of sleet across portions of southern Oklahoma and western North Texas. And maybe some locally higher amounts are possible, especially along the Red River Valley, back near, near Wichita Falls. It depends on, like I said, where those heavier bands of sleet and freezing drizzle slash freezing rain set up. Okay, so moving into Thursday night into early Friday. Our second storm system will begin to move out of New Mexico, move off to the north-northeast into the Panhandles into far southeastern Colorado. And as that occurs, a warm front will start to lift into the Texoma region across western north Texas. And as it moves in, it will bring another chance of, free, of light freezing rain and sleet to the region beginning Thursday night and early Friday. As we move into Friday, that wintry mix of precipitation, freezing rain, sleet, and snow will continue. And then as temperatures slowly warm, as that warm front continues to lift, we'll finally see a transition to rain in the afternoon across much of central and southern Oklahoma and western North Texas. Where, how far the warm front makes it, how much the system moves, and, and depending on how fast the system moves across the panhandles and into Kansas, will really depend on where the, the transition from, rain, from freezing rain to rain sets up. So definitely uh, stay up to date with the forecast as we move forward over the next couple days. So Thursday night into Friday, sleet and freezing rain accumulations. Remember, we, there's a chance we are going to have some rain, so some of these amounts may not be completely total. But right now, it looks like the best chance of any kind of, of, of decent icing will be across far southern Oklahoma, back into west north Texas, there along the Red River Valley. So if you're traveling on I-35 starting tomorrow and carrying on into Friday, maybe even the Saturday, you got to go from Oklahoma City down to Fort Worth. Travels are going to be pretty true. You need to really check the forecast if you're going to be traveling on I-35. It might be pretty slick. We all know that pass through the Arbuckles can get a little slick when we get a little bit of ice, a little bit of snow, a little bit of sleet. So I expect this map to change. It's changed over the last couple of days. We'll continue to refine the forecast as we move forward, but this is what we're expecting at this moment. So Friday night and Saturday, wintry precipitation is going to continue on through Friday night. Looks like we'll have a changeover to snow as that low finally lifts into Kansas, get some colder air in here. So we should end up with snow across far northwestern Oklahoma, western Oklahoma as well. And then we'll have a transition line somewhere from central and back into southwestern Oklahoma and back into far west Texas. We'll finally have a transition line of, once again, mixed precipitation. Unfortunately, the Oklahoma City metro and Lawton, Crawl and, and Altus are in that line. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. And again, depending on how that low tracks into Kansas will depend on where that transition line is. And then we expect mainly rain uh, south of the transition line, wherever that sets up. So likely where you've had any kind of icing, likely see some rain maybe Friday night into Saturday. So maybe the impacts will be lessened a little bit. But while the storm system's on going on Friday, travel's going to be pretty, pretty hazardous is what it looks like right now. So moving to Friday night into Saturday, we might have some light snow accumulations, of course, with that snow. Uh, right now, this map hasn't changed a whole lot, but we could see maybe an inch to an inch and a half far northern Oklahoma, maybe a trace to an inch somewhere between Oklahoma City, Stillwater, back up to, to Clinton and Altus and down as far south as Lawton. So keep an eye on this. Once again, it'll depend on where that transition line is from, from snow to, to rain so that Wherever that freezing rain, sleet, and snow sets up, that's where we'll have to, that's, you know, kind of where we'll see the snow accumulations end. So. 
All right, the primary impact from all of this is likely that roads will become slick and hazardous. Uh, always have a winter plan if you have to travel. Make sure you carry an emergency kit in your car. Throw an extra blanket in there. And always drive slowly. Use your headlights. And make sure that you use your best judgment. If you don't have to travel, don't travel. That's the best advice we can give. Okay, this concludes the weather briefing from the National Weather Service here in Norman. Once again, I want to thank you for logging on and, and watching this evening on New Year's Eve. For the latest forecast information, always check our webpage at weather.gov forward slash Norman. Make sure you stay tuned to your local media outlets. If, you're happy, if you have to travel over the next several days, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, if you're going to be leaving our region, make sure you check and see what forecast office uh, area that you're in. Those people are the experts for weather there. Once again, I want to wish you a happy New Year's. Be safe out there tonight and have a great evening. Thanks.